Be sure to check out Doki Doki Literature Club, the charming new visual novel from Team Selvato. It has excitement, action, and girls. If you haven't had the chance to play this heartwarming visual novel, do yourself a favor and download it now. It's free! Stop watching this video. 10 out of 10, game of the year, it'll make your Kokoro go Doki Doki. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, are they gone? Good. Now don't you dare complain about spoilers. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club is an interactive PowerPoint presentation developed by Team Salvato. It tricks people into thinking it's some kind of Japanese anime dating sim when it's actually not. In fact, the game isn't Japanese at all, it's Fapanese. Considering this is the game's creator. Hello, my name is Dan Salvato. I am the developer of 20XX Tournament Edition, the melee enhancement mod that works on any unmodified GameCube or Wii. Look at this dude. You don't look very Japanese to me. Ching chong bing bong. On first launch, you're greeted with a warning saying this game isn't appropriate for children or those easily disturbed. Huh. Wonder what that means. I thought it was gonna be something something juicy, you know? This is an anime dating sim, so maybe we get a little happy ending, you know? The good end? Not okay. But then I started to notice something weird about the Steam tags. It said it was a, a psychological horror. Ooh, okay, all right. And before you can even start playing, you have to give the game consent. Yes, the game asks for consent. So before I continue with this review, I, I have to ask, do you consent? Do you con- do you cons- So after giving yourself a name, the game starts off and it's like, uh, yeah, you're just an anime kid going to high school and, uh, your childhood friend shows up and she wants you to join this club. And even though you're not really enthusiastic about doing it, your friend's all like, you gotta, you gotta fucking do it, you know, you gotta, you gotta do it. Out of obligation, you show up to the club, but to your surprise, <laughs> you end up being the rooster among the hens. Well, hello, look at all these- these ladies after you. Well, y you too, Monica. Like this. This, I'm not okay with this. You know, I'm already awkward in real life. I don't need to be playing a visual novel that represents how awkward I am. So you meet three other girls at the club. You got Yuri, who's this big titty hot topic party city bitch. Yander, Yandere. Yan, Yandere? Yandere. You got Natsuki, who's like your pink haired uh, underage kind of business. What's the word? Uh, to to sun sunder, sunder sun sundary soon soondary soon. Uh, and then you got Monica. Monica. A little bit of Monica in the sun. A little bit of Monica all night long. A little bit of Monica here I am. A little bit of you makes me your man. So you head home reflecting on all the hot mamacitas you got to meet. And you're thinking, ooh, who am I gonna romance? I wanted to go after Yuri, uh, because she has the biggest tits! And then the game goes into this poem writing mini game. You get to pick the girl you want to romance by writing her a poem. And you do this by picking a series of words that best represents the girl of your dreams. And she seems to like some very interesting words, like, uh, massacre and, uh, suicide. Interesting. I don't know, she sounds like a freak. She sounds like a freak, I made the right choice. Because I wrote my poem for Yuri, we get a little more private time together. We get to we get to read together. Ooh, this is oh we're sitting next to each other. Oh, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh man! And then I feed her chocolate and stuff. And oh man, she basically wants my dick. This game is really pushing my graphics cards too, with the particle effects that are that are going over here. Just doing another poem. Gonna write another poem. We gotta make sure we please Yuri. So I'm gonna pick words like graveyard. So after spending a couple of days at the club, it's decided that the literature club will be making appearance at the school's festival to recruit new members. To prepare for the festival, you have to help out one of the girls deck out the classroom. So, you know, of course I choose to stay with Yuri, because, you know, she's, she's the one. Oh, baby, you're coming back to my place? Oh. Oh, we can't, we can't go to your place? All right, if you want to come to my place, you know. <laughs> oh, well. But then, uh, Sayuri, she, she's not looking too hot. In fact, uh, she's kind of sad. Okay, how are you doing? How you doing? And uh, after after pestering a bit, she's like, "Ha ha, uh, I'm depressed. I've been depressed my whole life, and uh, I never told you." And you're like, "Oh, okay. 
that's that's why she arrives late to school and stuff. She's just she's just depressed. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'll just let her hang out, you know, by herself. Ooh, Yuri. Oh, hey now. Oh, she's coming right up to my room. This is this is oh man. This is getting kind of spicy. Pulls out a pocket knife. Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird? You won't be weirded out. Okay. I'm kind of into knives. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Is this why we could never go to her place? Now, now that I'm thinking about it, what is what does Yuri's place look like? <laughs> okay. You know, you could you could cut the paper without being so creepy. Ooh, I got, ouch, I got a cut. Whoa, whoa. What is she, some kind of fucking vampire? I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Ooh, oh, well, it's not the only thing your tongue can curl around. <laughs> Lowers her head, her f face is burning up. Yeah, you kind of just licked my bleeding finger. That's not normal, you know? Do you know about bloodborne pathogens? After we're done with making our decorations, Yuri heads on out. But uh, looks like Sayuri saw us, and uh, yeah, things things get awkward really quickly. Stop by to say hi. You see, this is how you know. Look at her face, and look at how she ends everything with a tilde. So not only is Sayuri super depressed, she ends up confessing her love to you. She was in love with you all this time. I'm not a polygamist, and I only go with one waifu at a time. I'm not Mormon, so I'm not gonna say I love you too. But I created a save, so, you know, I can always come back to the spot. Oh, I think I'm supposed to, ooh, I, mm, I think I'm supposed to feel bad at this part. Anyway, who cares? We gotta keep preparing for the festival. So I go to school all ready and excited, only to find Monica there, and she's saying, where is Sayuri? Where, where the fuck is Sayuri? And I'm like, oh, she, she she's kind of late. Like, it probably wasn't a good idea to leave your borderline suicidal friend alone. Uh, by the way, this is the last poem she wrote. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Uh, I like how it starts with a percent sign. You know, I do like it when my, my poems are kind of look like passwords. Considering that was uh, the poem she submitted, uh, I wonder how she's doing back at her apartment. Hey, Sayuri? Sayuri, you're okay? Hey, what's, what's going on? Isn't this kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh, gosh! Be sure to check out Doki Doki Literature Club, the charming new visual novel from Team Selvato. It has excitement.